crayons, crayons, crayons. Crayons, I did crayons sometimes. Hi y'all, welcome back to Handmade, I'm Jill. Most of us here are probably pretty crafty and can agree on how exciting it is to open a brand new box of crowns. The bright colors, the pointy tips, the possibilities of what you're gonna make, but it's a pretty big bummer when you break one and they start to get a little bit grubby. Between my daughter and I, we have collected this entire jar full of broken crowns and I didn't wanna just throw them away. Today we're gonna upcycle these and turn them into brand new, bright, colorful shapes that are gonna make a beautiful gift. Let's get started. The supplies you need for this project are crayons, a sharp craft knife, a bowl of water, silicone molds, a baking sheet, and packaging supplies. The first step is to remove all of the labels. You can do this by using a craft blade to slice down the label and peeling it off. This method is kind of therapeutic if you have time, but it can be a little messy and time consuming. So, pro tip, save yourself some time and toss them all in a container of hot tap water. All right, these have been soaking for about 15 minutes and you can see some of the labels have just come off by themselves. And that was easy. Some of them just need a little help, but that, that is, that is way easier. The next step is to make these into much smaller pieces. You can break them by hand, or you can use a knife if need be. Just crack these into smaller pieces. This is about the right size. It's actually probably about half an inch. I'm gonna sort mine by color, because I'm gonna try to make my letters into a bit of a colorful pattern. You don't want them to be too big. Today, I'm gonna to be making letters and heart shapes. I thought we might give these as a little gift for Valentine's Day for the kiddos in my daughter's class, but you can buy all kinds of silicone molds. I saw stars, cactuses, animals, robots, really just about anything that you can think of. So, I'm just gonna figure out the letters that I need to spell out a name, and I'm gonna fill each letter to the top. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with the hearts. Now it's time to melt our crowns. So you can see how these things are pretty flimsy. I don't wanna pull these out of the oven full of hot melted wax and them be flimsy and make a mess. So I'm just gonna put them on a regular baking sheet lined with parchment paper just in case anything spills out. This will make it way easier to get them out of the oven. I'm just gonna go put these in the oven that I've preheated to 300 degrees for between 10 and 15 minutes. I'm gonna keep checking on them. Okay, so these look great. They are fully melted, and now I'm gonna let them sit and cool completely for about 30 minutes to one hour. Okay, so I let these chill for about an hour, and now all we're gonna do is pop them out. You wanna be very careful not break any of our letters. All right, the last and final step is to package these guys up. I just have these little jewelry boxes that I bought at the craft store, made for necklaces. And all I'm gonna do is put a little bit of this shredded paper down on the bottom to cushion the letters. All right, that couldn't have been any more perfect. And we are including a printable for you. I'll include the link in the comments below, but it says color your heart out. And I am just gonna cut this out. I'm gonna tie my box closed of this adorable rainbow ribbon. Trim up my edges. 
and I have an adorable package. I'm so happy with how these turned out. I think the kids are gonna love their adorable personalized favors or these cute little heart crayons. They couldn't have been easier to make. They're so cute and we didn't throw away the crowns. We instead recycled them. Let me know in the comments below what shapes or names you're gonna make and bonus points if you caught how many times I said the word crayon incorrectly. Don't forget to like and follow the handmade page for more fun crafts like these. We'll see you next time.